everybody! Today's tip is for dogs who can become fearful or reactive towards strangers when out on a walk. Now, we don't often think about it, but the way we use our tone of voice when talking to a friend that we like or a family member is very different than how we talk to a stranger, and dogs can pick up on this cue. For example, when I see my brother, I go, Hey Daniel, how are you doing? Rather than, Good morning! Or, Hey, how's it going? And what can happen is that the dogs can learn very quickly that when you say, hey, how's it going, it's somebody they don't know and it's not a friend and not a family member. So what can happen is the dog is not only reacting to the trigger of seeing the person coming towards you or walking past you, but they're also going to start reacting to when you say, hey, how's it going, or good morning. So what you can do is condition a positive emotional response towards your greeting to strangers. So I'll show you how I do it with my dogs. I say, good morning, and then I give all of them a treat. Good job. Now, if your dog reacts when you say good morning in your own house, or when you're walking and there's nobody, I suggest starting easy. So you just say good morning in a very soft tone of voice that doesn't elicit a fearful or reactive response. Ready? Good morning. Wish me. Another thing is that if you have a dog that reacts or becomes fearful around people, it can start to make you feel really reactive and fearful around other people because you know your dog might react. So by playing this game, it actually can help you as a person to have a positive emotional response when you do see a stranger because you'll know what to say and you'll feel good about saying it. If you have a dog that needs distance to feel comfortable, you need to practice what you're going to say to people if you can't create the distance yourself. So perhaps you waved at them and turned the other way, but now they're following you and your dog is getting more and more stressed by this. If you suddenly shout, hey, excuse me, can you turn and go the other way, or hey, we need some room, um, that might also scare your dog, and the dog is going to start thinking that when you raise your voice, it means that means something scary is happening in the environment. So I like to practice, hi there, can you please call your dog, we need some distance between our dogs, or something like that. Another tip is turning what you say to the stranger into a cue for what you want your dogs to be doing. So for example, when I walk with all my dogs off leash and I see a dog that I'm kind of worried about charging towards us, the first thing that I'm going to be saying is, hey, excuse me, can you please call your dog before the dog gets too close where it won't be able to listen to his own owner. And I don't have enough time to gather all my dogs. So when I say, excuse me, can you please call your dog in a loud voice, I want all my dogs to come running to me and pay attention to me. And that way I could put them on leash or I can protect them from whatever dog is coming at them. Are you ready? So it's very simple. All you do is say that. Hey, can you please call your dog? And then say, come. Dan. And then you just start to phase out the cue come so your dogs are responding to the, hey there, can you please call your dog? And you can practice this on walks when no one's around. Are you ready? Here we go. 